If you're planning a holiday this year and don't want to run into any hustlers, here are some helpful tips to keep your possessions safe. First of all, always be aware of the people around you, especially in busy areas such as airports, train stations or tourist spots. If you feel that people are getting a little bit too close or bumping into you, then you may have just been a victim of pickpocketing. When you're out and about and you have a bag on you, always wear the strap across your body and make sure that you walk with the bag away from the curb to avoid drive-by purse snatchers. Wearing your strap over one shoulder makes it too easy for people to snatch off you. Now, the last thing you want to be doing is walking around a busy marketplace with an expensive watch or necklace. The best advice anybody could give you is to leave all valuable possessions at home in the first place. So, watch and learn. I will have a gin and tonic, please. Paul has come to this Spanish seaside bar for some refreshments, but he hasn't brought any money, just a matchbox. All right, this is a very, very, very simple bet, okay? Um, uh, we don't need these, okay? All you have to do, I'll give you a free go. Right? With one finger, you have to lift it up and stand it so it's on its end, like that, okay? That's it. This is kind of like a sobriety test as well. Well done. Now, you have to do it again. And if you can, I'll buy everybody drinks. But if you can't, you, have, you all have to buy me drinks. That was just the trial run to prove that it can actually be done. From now on, they're playing for drinks. The matches, there is a flea in here. Very, very, very well trained flea. Exactly the same as before. All you have to do, Lift it up. Come on, man. I can count on you. There's something going on here. It's my wallet's coming out of. Oh. My mental powers. Yeah, you've done something. Yeah, the mental. <laughs> well, well, you, should we do it again? Do you want to try again? Okay. We have to be very fair. There is absolutely nothing inside the box. Well, the flea actually jumped out. Do you want to pick him up? Pick him up. Drop him back in there. All right. Exactly the same as before. Make sure there's nothing sticky on the glass or anything like that. Yeah. That's two round of drinks for me. This bet has nothing to do with invisible fleas and everything to do with basic physics. An empty matchbox is always heavier on one side than the other. This is because of the cardboard drawer sitting inside it. When the bar goer first lifted the box, she started with it the right way up. With the cardboard tray on the bottom, and she had no trouble standing the box upright. When they started playing for drinks, Paul secretly turned the tray upside down, so the heaviest side was on top. In this position, it's almost impossible to stand up. The extra weight makes the box overbalance before it's upright, causing it to topple over. Come on, kid. You know what? Two's enough. <laughs> <laughs> the bar's over there. <laughs>